I couldn't have picked a better place to come to. For 62-year-old Craig Davis, Faith Friendship Villa in Mountville, Lancaster County is home. It's been a real stable environment for me. Like most of the nearly 70 residents who live at the personal care facility, Davis struggles with mental health issues. Many don't have family support and are considered adult orphans. And that's why we're so sad about what's going on here, because nobody wants to lose this. Right now, the future of the home is in question. In February, a judge sentenced 69-year-old James Zook, a former caretaker here, to up to 28 years in prison. Zook pled guilty to more than 600 counts of indecent and sexual assault for inappropriate conduct with 14 residents. One of the victims is suing the villa, claiming the facility should have done more to protect its residents. It was awful. Tammy Morris is the executive director. She says the villa pre-screens and does background checks on all employees. Still, they were unaware of the abuse until one of the victims came forward. The Department of Human Services did revoke the home's certificate of compliance after an inspection in October of 2023. It gave Faith Friendship Villas what's called a first provisional license, with the understanding the facility must correct violations detailed in the inspection. We have taken measures to implement more aggressive sexual abuse policies and trainings. We're teaching our staff how to detect and ultimately prevent this from happening again. At this point, though, it's not clear if the home will get that chance. Faith Friendship Villa is in a financial crisis. Resident fees only cover half the costs. Donors used to make up the rest, but many stopped giving. Because of the pending lawsuit, grants and loans aren't an option either. Faith Friendship needs time and money to survive this crisis. The huge concern here for everybody, and I think it's stressful for, for everybody here, including myself, is where are we going to go if we have to leave here? Craig says he doesn't want to minimize the abuse suffered by the men, but... The people that remain here are victims as well. We're victims of, of what happened here and the, the ramifications of what this man did. And we don't deserve to be victimized by that. Residents and their families put together a GoFundMe to try to bridge the gap. Both Craig and Tammy have donated, and they'd like to see others join them. Don't let us suffer because of what happened here, uh, because it wasn't our fault. Ann Shannon, WGAL News 8.